So let me give you a quick live demo of the sprinkler valve controller. Here is the setup. On the left side, I have connected it to the 24 volt AC sprinkler valve transformer, which provides the power. On the top, I have the Wi-Fi repeater, which provides the Wi-Fi interface to the controller. If you don't have a repeater, it's all right. You just have to run a long ethernet cable from your router to the controller. So down here, I have uh, set up two sprinkler valves. They are both connected to the controller uh, through the terminal blocks. Now, for the purpose of the demonstration, I have used these short wires, but you can actually run them pretty long, at least a couple hundred meters, according to the spec. So at the moment, I have started the controller in manual operation mode. In this mode, you can set a schedule through the push buttons on the right-hand side. So to do this, I press the first button, and then I set which stations I would like to schedule. So let's say the first two stations, and then you set the duration. Uh, say for the demonstration purpose, let's run them for one minute. And then now I have set a schedule. To start the schedule, I press and hold the first button. And then you can see that both sprinkler valves are now open. At any time, I can press and hold the second button, and that will close the valves. So I can go back and make some changes. Let's say this time we only schedule the second station, again for just one minute. And after starting, you can see that now only the second valve is on and the first valve remain closed. Also on the LCD uh, display, you can see a small character animation which shows what are the current stations that are open and uh, the remaining watering time. So now we have about seven seconds left, so we can count down. And it's closed. Now let me switch the controller to web scheduling mode. To do this, I need to restart the uh, uh, controller. So I uh, power it off, and then while powering it on, I will press and hold the third button. So I'm now in option setup mode, and uh, I will turn the web mode on. There are also some other options I can set, like the time zone, uh, whether to use DHCP or static IP address. Um, whether I would like to have NTP time sync, the starting and the ending hours of the day, um, and some other options. Okay. So now it's connecting to the network. Since I've set it up to use DHCP, it's going to take a few seconds to get an IP address. Okay, so now we're all set. Let's see. This is the IP address. In web scheduling mode, I can set schedules for the valves through a web page. To do this, I put in the um, IP address of the um, sprinkler uh, controller. And now we are on the home page hosted by the controller. You can see this page shows some basic information such as the status of the valve, uh, the rain delay status, and some other information. So let me go to the schedule page. And here is where I can uh, schedule the valves. So this is uh, today's uh, page. It's a Friday. Um, and we're in this slot indicated by the yellow uh, box here. Uh, so let me do some quick scheduling. Let's say we open the first valve for 30 minutes. Each slot here is uh, cor corresponds to 15 minutes. And we open the second valve for one slot, which is 15 minutes. And uh, at this time, I need to input a password. There is a defa default password, which you can find on my web page. So now if I click on OK, so you can see both valves are now open. And of course, at any given time, I can go back and make changes. Let's say now we turn off the second valve for this slot. And again, I put in my password. And after submission, submitting, you can see that the second valve is now closed and only the first valve is open. 
Now, in web scheduling mode, uh, most operations can be performed through this web in, uh, web interface. So let me go back to the home page, and uh, this now shows that the first station is open. And uh, let's say that today it has rained, and I would like to delay the valve schedule by 24 hours. So what I can do is I first put in my password um, in order to make any change, uh, and then I click on rain delay. And then I put in, uh, let's say we want to delay it for one day, 24 hours. And now after pressing OK, you can see that all stations are closed. And also on the status page, it shows that I'm currently on rain delay uh, mode. And uh, so the rain delay will continue till tomorrow at the same time. Also at any time, I can input a rain delay value of zero to turn off the rain delay mode. Um, the last thing I want to show is uh, that in the configuration page, there are also some options that you can set through the web page. So one example is that, let's say, I never turn on my uh, sprinklers before 8 a.m. and uh, uh, or never after 6 p.m. So I put in these starting and ending hours. And now if I commit the changes, then uh, I go to the schedule page. You can see that now the schedule page is shorter. It starts from 8 a.m. and stops at 6 p.m. So this way it makes it easier to navigate through the scheduling page.